Sometimes you just wake up in trouble. <laughs> One minute you're on the road, riding. Not a care in the world. Then some guy in a suit comes along. Next thing you know, you're neck deep in something rotten. Okay, so here we go. Faking Ben and Maureen's death. Act one, scene one. Adrian Ripberger, in a there. desperate attempt to lure our Maureen out of hiding, has developed the following lame-ass scheme. First prize at tonight's smash-up derby is a vintage hardtail that Mo restored with her dad. Rip hopes Mo will try to nab said bike on account of her sentimental attachment to it. So Ben and Mo play along, put on disguises, and enter the demolition derby which ends tragically when their cars explode and both are presumed dead. Uh, question. Please save your questions until the end. Now, the explosives in Moe's car can only be triggered by a head-on collision with Ben's car. This ejector seat projects Moe clear of the explosion and she parachutes to safety. Don't you think someone will notice her ejecting out of her car? No, they'll all be watching you running around on fire. Yeah, that's another question I have. When your car explodes, you climb from it in flames and run around the stadium distracting the audience. In your cute little asbestos suit, of course. <laughs> that's some plan. All right, then. Let's go blow your little darlings up. All right, folks. Hang on to your chili dogs, because it's time to start. The Corley Motors Smashatorium Amateur Driver Ultimate Destruction Maximum <laughs> Carnage Marathon. I hope it's on Sunday. Let's meet our crash cage gladiators. That mysterious looking hooded figure wouldn't give us his real name. He prefers to be known as the Unknown Avenger. And that's just fine with us, isn't it, folks? <laughs> Now I'm just embarrassed for them. Who do they think they're fooling with those ludicrous disguises? And next to him is another mass newcomer. Please give a big smashatorium salute to the princess of Pile Up, Doreen Schmorley. <laughs> hey, my boys. Sick of me. And finally, we have a last minute addition line of tonight, a deadly looking team known as the Boom Boom Brothers. Try it again. All right now, are you ready to see some reckless driving? <laughs> are you ready to see some unnecessarily violent destruction? <laughs> then let the demolition derby begin. <laughs> Hang on, Mo. Here I come. <laughs> They're not focused on you anyways. This blue car hates me so much. Just curious what else there was. 
was in life. Oh my god, I thought I had it. Oh, you are the worst friend. He's not a friend, what am I saying? I tried ramping over. Have you not seen that? Done several times? Or attempted several times? I'll do it again. Say ramp some more in chat. That'll help. Let's do it again. And this ramp is a mile away. If this one works, then I don't even know. Stalled car. Oh, damn it, it didn't work. <laughs> That's what you have to do, I give up. You have to actually get that front out of the way and do something, I give up completely. I should remember this part of the game.
There we go. That's an explosion, ladies and gentlemen. Can't see any survivors. Wait, what's that? What a fucking what a annoying thing. Did I mention that uh, CJ Shurik with the $10? Uh, must be getting sleepy. Yeah, I'm getting a little sleepy. And Skippy Hour with $5. This is just the best thing to watch after work. <laughs> Are we in terms of money and subs and shit? What am I supposed to do? Oh, what a pain threshold! That's the way up. He's still going. This is it. No. Still no sign of Miss Morley. Um, we're ninety-five dollars away from going until nine a.m. I never go until eight a.m. So another hour and a half of streamage. And subs wise, we, uh, we we definitely hit the goal there. Uh, so next uh, Saturday, I'll be selling out my soul again and playing World of Warcraft. Run that fire one more time. Man, quit clowning around and make a diversion. I am a diversion. No offense, but we need a bigger one. The bike is guarded. Who cares about the bike? Mo says it's important, so we're not leaving without. All right, I'll see what I can do, but I'm burning at both ends here. <laughs> Finally, now squish that firefly while he's hot. <laughs> Look at him run. Funny. <laughs> this chain could never handle my horsepower. This chain could never handle my horsepower. Um. What the fuck are you supposed to do?
<laughs> Ram. What happened? Did you get him? We finally got him, Bolas. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised, and give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm. Funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well, on the bright side, I just made 20,000 shares of stock. Time to stop the shareholders meeting. Uh. Where's the hardtail? All over the floor, Mr. Avenger. What? What happened to your deep sentimental attachment to your father's vintage bike? Ben, it's just a bike. I can put it back together in about a half an hour. That's assuming, of course, I can find that key. What key are you talking about? Key to my dad's safe. I remember he hid it somewhere on this bike. But I've looked everywhere and I can't find anything that even looks like a key. What's in the safe that's so important? My dad's will. I'm counting on him to tell the truth about me, finally. Why did he keep you a secret all these years? He didn't want people to find out about my mom. What's so bad about Mrs. Corley? She wasn't my mom. Huh. But how are we going to get in the factory? In the back of the factory, there's a secret entrance that leads straight into Dad's office. He used to sneak me in so I could help him with his bike designs. When he got too old to do all the work himself? Nah, this is back when I was six. Hmm. How do I find the secret passage? Well, it's tricky. You have to wait for all the utility meters to turn black. Then you kick the wall in just the right spot and you're in. How do I find the right spot to kick? Dad just knew exactly where to kick it. But I remember that there was this big crack in the wall. And if I line up that crack with my eye level and kick the wall right in front of me, this weird portal would open up. Hmm. How was your flight? Well, there were some explosions during takeoff and I landed in a minefield. But other than that, it was fine. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Uh huh. Great. Now help me find that key. Remember that time you tried to kill me? Yeah, we really taught you a lesson. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> what are we in, anyway? It's a C-330 Big Mouth Industrial Cargo Jumbo Transport we fixed up. We want to get it rolling so we can take it to biker rallies. You're going to try to fly this thing? Rolling, Ben. Rolling. Hey, this baby's flying days are over, just like mine. What if I can't find that spot? Just line up your eyes with the crack, wait for the meters to go black, and kick. I'll see what I can do. Right. <laughs> oh that look at that that cheek stretch so what are these numbers one five four four nine two four eight oh five three one two four seven dash eight I should write this shit down, I suppose. <clears throat> Alright. Hmm. Oh shit, there's another one. Is that seven five or is that seven T? Is that two T's? That's seven T nine three, right? Hmm. Eight nine seven dash six seven. 
Hmm. All right. Hmm. What? Why are you typing numbers that aren't even real numbers? Hmm. Hmm. Are y'all high?